What are we doing, Alana? We're going to play with virus and make purple syrup. Oh, all right. So let's show the people how to make a purple violet syrup. So let's go down there. Yep, and collect violets. We have our map right here that Alana drew that'll show us where the violets are. Really? Where is it? Let's go see. Let's go see. Where is it? Oh man. Yeah, look at all the violets. All right, let's pick them. Nice find, Alana. I have one. Throw that in the jar. All right, we're getting a little fuller jar. Yep, yep. That's gonna be good. Look, we're right in our backyard. Didn't have to go far. We can find good food right in our yard, huh? Yep. Yep. <laughs> what? We're gonna make the bees for honey because we're gonna leave a little bit more. We're gonna leave a little bit for the bees to make honey? Yeah. Yeah, we don't wanna take them all, do we? Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Here's a better close-up view of the violets. So you can see what they look like. Um, we got a coronavirus violet so we can make a purple syrup. Purple syrup. Oh, that's going to be good. Yep. Let's go do that. Let's see your jars. Show me your, hold up your jars. Oh yeah. Awesome. Quarantine activities. The Canadians and people up north keep putting up videos of uh, collecting maple syrup. So we're doing our best to keep up here. <laughs> okay, so to make violet syrup, you gotta put just as many violets as you do water. Not in there yet. Put it in the glass jar right over there. Put it in the measuring cup. Fill the measuring cup up. All right. It's filled. It's filled. All right, that's enough. Now you got all those violets. Pour those violets into the uh, pan. All right, now fill the, the measuring cup up again, yeah. Perfect. Now dump those in the pan. All right. So we got a little over two cups of violets. We'll put a little over two cups of water in there. Two and a half. Took most of the stems out. So, okay, wait, I'm gonna tell them what we're doing. I'll show you this right here. Um, so what happened, I have a terrible confession to make, and that is that I, in the, I got a phone call while I was trying to make this syrup yesterday, and I heated it too much, so you don't wanna heat it and boil it after it's already sat for a day or it'll turn brown. So I went out and collected some more violets so that the kids wouldn't know the difference. And then, <laughs> hold this. Here's what we're gonna do. I've, I've warmed it lot slightly now. And I'm gonna filter out, woo, filter out the uh... I wanna do the sugar. Okay. Look there, we've filtered out the uh greens and the flowers. All right, pour the sugar in. That's a half a cup. Whoa! That is a lot of sugar. Yikes. Diabetes. Here you go, a little more. All right, that's a lot of sugar. It's going to be for real syrup. Now we got to mix it up until it all dissolves. Our camera person has to bounce the baby and keep the camera steady at the same time. So. 
We'll see how she does. <laughs> Alright, I think all the sugar's dissolved. Alright. So the other trick with this stuff is if you add an acid, like lemon juice, it'll turn more purple. Look at that purple color. If you add a base, it'll turn green. So it's a color changing syrup. They used to use this as a lipness test before lipness tests came out. They had to change color right before your eyes. It's very green at the bottom where the baking soda is sitting. Blue at the top. Anyway, interesting stuff.